Dave, thanks for talking to us. First of all, congratulations. You got what you wanted in the end, the victory. Yeah, look, I thought we passed the ball out well. I thought we moved the ball well. Um, and ultimately, I think we got just about what we deserved. Um, you know, I said to him, I said, look, it might take 60 minutes, 70 minutes, 80 minutes, 90 minutes. If you pass the ball properly for long enough, you'll, you'll get opportunities. You'll get opportunities in the first hour, never mind the last 30 minutes. And... You know, I thought we had a couple of chances where we didn't take advantage. I thought we made, you know, the wrong decision in the, in in that first period of the game. But then ultimately, we've Travis has put a great ball in. You know, and uh, Porter has nodded it down, and it wasn't Ollie Finney at Wimbledon. It was Ben Knight at Shrewsbury. <laughs> it was his carbon copy goal. So I'm pleased for Ben, um, and I'm pleased for a few others as well because I thought the the, the the performed well. I thought Scott on his he had trained with us. Oh, no, he did. He trained with us yesterday, to be fair. Um, the other Scott hasn't trained with us. And I thought he performed admirably, not knowing most people's names, never mind how they play and all the rest of it. So, you know, some real pleasing things. Just mentioning his Scott, did we see what he's all about t- tonight and, uh, and and what you've brought him here to do? Yeah, look, he's a, he's a ball manipulator. He passes the ball forward. He, he ticks things over. Has he got areas for improvement? Well, I think he has, because... I think he's got to score more goals and he's got to get forward. He got forward once and then got cramp. <laughs> but that's what we want him to do and we'll get that with him. You know, we'll certainly ask him to do it. Um, but I thought he was not just competent, I thought he was very competent in his performance. You know, and like I say, it's his first game for a while and I thought he I thought he did ever so well. Just going back to your match winner as well, you know he's going to take a few games to, to settle himself down, but he got involved in the game straight away as soon as he came on. And that wasn't an easy finish, was it? It might have been well executed, but it wasn't an easy finish. He made it look easy. Mm. Good players make things look easy, don't they? And he's a good player, so I said to him, I'm going to ask you all the time, how many, times did you have, how many touches did you have in the box? All the time. Because that's where people score goals. That's where Raheem Sterling scores goals. That's where... Gabriel Jesus scores goals. You know the people who are trained with every day. They, that's where they score their goals, and you've got to, you know, match um, where they get to to get the opportunities. And he did. He just ran off and out the eye line of that holding midfielder that we're asking him to do. And Bob's your uncle. Well, you kept a few of your players out of the equation, quite rightly so, and give a lot of opportunities to others. You handed the captain's armband to Donovan Daniels. There could have been a few contenders for that, but I thought he played a real captain's role. Your thoughts of, of how he was? I was very pleased with him. I've, that's why he came to the football club, and we didn't really see it last year. And We've had a chat, and he's, he's doing OK. And we, we want to see more of that Donovan. And if we do, then... He'll get more opportunities at this football club, but that's what we want to see. He's, he's setting his own bar. Whenever we've called upon him this year, bar the opening game of the season where he, he, he fluffed his lines a touch, he's, he's been fairly consistent, and we've got to get that out of Donovan. And tonight we got that, and it's consistency with him. It's it's stringing games together, and if he does that, then you know we'll have a good player. Well, when we arrived here, we saw a big smiling Tom Lowry come out of the pitch. That's before he, he was even ready for action and strip. Tell us what's happened and how that's all come about. We, we had I don't know, two hours in my office this morning and we're trying to get somewhere. I've tried to ring his agent, his agent's tried to ring me. We keep missing each other. Um, I will speak to him. Um, you know, because we've been going through Tom and that's not been good. Um, and I think... We, look, I, I, I don't want Tom not to play football. That doesn't mean that I throw our business model under the under the bus because I won't do that. Cause, like I said, that's more important than any one player. But Tom Lowry can't not play football. That's that's the truth, and I'll do everything I can to help him try and play football. He's got to also help himself, and he knows that. And his agent's got to help Tom. And if agent, his agent just wants to make money at the end of the season by taking him to X club on four or five hundred quid more because he hasn't played all season, well then that's his choice. Um, but we're not there yet. But we had a really good chat this morning, and hopefully there'll be, uh, you know, we've got ten days without a game now, where I'm hoping that myself, Tom, his agent, can thrash something out, and and uh, and, he, and he gets back to playing football because that's what we want.
it's been a horrible few weeks on it that that ongoing chat here and there and everywhere for, for the football club for Tom and everybody connected to crew fingers crossed you, you can get it over the line because you don't want to see that happen and I'm sure he doesn't well I, the, the, the thing for me is whatever two sides are still talking there's always a chance and there's two sides still talking I think that's important